Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x minus 4 is to power 3 equals to minus 8. From here, let's take minus 8 to this side. And uh, from here we have x minus 4 is to power 3 plus 8 equals to 0. Now, let's express 8 as well to a number raised to power 3. And here we have x minus 4 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0. And from here, we have something of the form, sum of two cubes. That is when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3. This can be expressed as a plus b multiplied by a square minus ab plus b square. So when we apply this here and we express a as x minus 4 and b as 2. So here we are going to have a plus b that's x minus 4 plus 2 then multiply by a square that's x minus 4 square then we have minus a b that's minus 2 times x minus 4 then plus b square that's plus 2 square then we have equal to 0 then from here we expand and we have from here we can simplify minus 4 plus 2 that's minus 2 we have x minus 2 here then from here expansion of here will give us x square minus 2 times x times 4 that's minus 8x then we have plus 16 then minus 2 open this bracket we have minus 2x then minus times minus plus 8 then plus 4 here 2 square is 4 that's equals to 0 and by the time we solve from here for that we have x minus 2 multiply by we have x square then minus 8x minus 2x that's minus 10x then 16 plus 8 plus 4 that gives us plus 28 which is equal to 0 and from here we have two cases we have x minus 2 equals to 0 and also from here we have x square minus 10x plus 28 equals to 0 so when we solve from here we have x equals to 2 and uh, from here we have a quadratic equation where we can use the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and in this problem we have a to be coefficient of x square that's a equals to 1 and b is coefficient of x that's b equals to minus 10 and from here c equals to 28 so when we substitute now we have x to be equals to minus b that's minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of b square minus 10 square then minus 4a that's 1 times c that's 28 then divided by 2a we have divided by 2 times 1 and from here we have x to be equals to minus times minus that's 10 plus or minus square root of 10 square that's 100 then minus 4 times 28, we have 1 around 2. We have 1 around 12, then divided by 2. Then from here, we simplify further, and here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of minus 12 over 2. And square root of minus 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3, then times minus 1. And the square root of 4 there is 2. So we can say this is 10 plus or minus 2 root 3. Square root of minus 1 is half. Then over 2. Also 2 can divide. And this will be simplified as x equals to 5 plus or minus root 3 half. Then we can conclude that we have the solution to this problem x1 equals to 2 which is a resolution and x2 we have 5 plus root 3i 
a complex solution there and x3 we have 5 minus root 3i also a complex solution thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell on see you in the next class and bye for now